Hello everyone, how's it going? It's me Tangosis, back at you with another review. This time we're checking out Raging Loop, and just in time for Halloween, since this is a horror visual novel, so... There you go for all you horror fans out here. Um, as always, we're gonna begin my review with the positives. So, the first positive here, is that believe it or not lads, there's actually a dedicated section at the start of the game, for guidelines for us content creators out there. Now if you ask me, I personally think that more developers, publishers, whatever, should have like a wee uh, section or even just a wee menu just to cover like what we are and aren't allowed to do. As you can see on the screen here, it's just talking a wee bit about the details before we hop on into the actual gameplay part. Just a quick reminder, since this is at the start of the game, as publisher have requested just to um, you know not go into too many spoilers like near the end of the game and whatnot which is why you're seeing stuff from here which brings us to our next point and the fact that there's quite a lot of different endings that you'll have to go through to actually unlock the different endings you saw I find the key there in that cutscene there right that's essentially what I'm talking about you get those completing the game and whatnot to unlock different dialogue options for different groups and all of that so Here's one for all you people that like to do all the replayability and whatnot. Last positive here is that the game itself actually does have a good soundtrack as well as, as you've heard, or as you're hearing now, some pretty good voice acting, so top job to the folk behind the voice acting and the soundtrack and whatnot behind creation loop here, so there you go lads. Right, on to the negatives now. Now, the first negative here, as you can see from this here screenshot, showing the thing here about the violent themes, as well as a bit of behind the scenes of how I do my editing on the PS4, might actually do the review on this sometime, but back to Raging Loop here. I've checked the options, and there doesn't seem to be an option to actually allow you to censor or skip out those violent parts. So if it's something that you're not too comfortable with, you can either just set the text to skip it, like go really quick as you can see on the screen, or I don't know, cover your eyes and just mash X button, or something like that, I'm not sure, maybe they'll add it in in a patch or something, I'm not 100%, sorry about that. Believe it or not, that's actually the only main negative area, unless you're used to it, maybe a neutral area, but with that onto the neutral areas, that really is about it. You can put that lack of centering as a neutral or negative, whatever, based on your tolerance, I guess. But I'm marking it down as a negative for now, but if you're fine with it, well, that's fine, I guess. So, with all that said, I just want to thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in for today's review. And, of course, with all that said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.